What is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is EJBLGD, and welcome to, well, sort of a tutorial, Sim Airport. So, I'm guessing you just picked up the game and you wanted to know how to play it. Well, I'm here to show you one or two things that can help you on your way. For example, when you boot up the game, this is what you'll see. This is the menu. Well, you won't see the test airport, of course. But uh, most of the things would look the same. And when you start the game, when you want to start a game, you just select new game. I suggest go for career mode so you have some um, goals to work to. Map size will pick medium because it's locked. Uh, and it's only open in sandbox mode. When you go to sandbox, you see that you can pick large or extra large as well. But we can do that in career mode. Start from scratch. We will. Pick no, so that we have a basic airport. I suggest you do the same for your first playthrough. Uh, airline options, 16 airlines. I wouldn't touch that. And then we can just start the game. Easy as that. Let's get into it. And uh, the game will boot up. And then you'll see this. Welcome to Sim Airport. Well, thank you so much, uh, pop up, uh, pop up guy. Well, let's see what we have to work with here. Um, basically, this is enough to get you started. It's not ideal, but it's enough to get you started. Let me uh, run you through what will happen. Passengers will arrive here to drop off. They will go to ticketing, where they drop off their luggage. And get their tickets they go to security where their tickets will be checked and they um where the tickets will be checked their passports will be checked uh their suitcase will be scanned and they will have to go to the scanner themselves then they go to the gates area which is um secured because security blocks it off from the public and they will enter the plane from here from the gate so uh, yeah, basically that's it. It's it's a very small airport. It'll do its thing once you have uh, five or six flights a day. If you want more flights, then uh, I suggest you make it a bit bigger. We'll do that by going to objects, and we want to go to ops operations. Everything we need for starting off will be in here. Let's see. We want another ticketing. Desk, desk. Where's the ticketing stuff? Ticketing desk. We'll put one more here. We'll do some kiosks as well for people that don't have luggage. Rotation works with R. And I'll have one, two, three, four, five over here. Next thing I want to do is to where is my foundation? Make this bigger, like here, and I'd like to have more builders. Let's have three more so that we have something to work with. Okay, um, well, away to that. Let's speed up the game. And look at them go. Ticketing desks are being built. So that should make things a lot easier. You're building the foundation now. And while we wait on that, I do need one more staff, regular staff. So let's hire you. Okay, our ticketing kiosk is built. Now what I'd like to do here is to um, give security a more room and have a separate exit for people that are coming off of the plane. Okay, uh, let's uh, clear these walls. And these walls as well.
Okay, floors. I do want them all the same. I think these are floor number six. As you might see, there's a big yellow uh, symbol here. Exclamation mark, sorry. Uh, that shows that this area is not secure. That's because people can walk right past security and go into the gate. That is not how it is supposed to be. The gate needs to be in secure area. As you can see, there are uh, fences all the way bordering our lands. And we need to bo keep that bordered up. Keep that separate. But now we will fix that in a minute by picking up a wall and doing something like this. And this. And let's see, um, where, I oh, hold on, objects, operations, um, where is that one? Security exit, there it is. Um, that there. Rotate it like so, so people can only pass through it on one way. How do we secure this again? Let's go to zones, let's go to security, and let's make sure that this is all security. And I might have picked the wrong floor. <laughs> Let me go fix that real quick. Um, floors. Is it stone 20? Let's uh, see if it's the same. It might look different with the uh, zones on top of it. But yeah, it's that one. Okay. Let's swap that out. And what will happen now is that people that leave the plane will go here into this little corridor and go to the baggage claim. They no longer go through security because they have their own routing system now. I do, however, want to um, expand the security system so that more people can go through at the same time. Let's see, one, two, you there, you there, you there, you can be dismantled. All right, let's pause the game. Um, I need some more stuff for our security zone operations. I want some more baggage scanners. I want you dismantled, by the way. And I want you dismantled as well. By the way, when two things are on top of each other and you want to select the other one, just press tab. Tab, tab, and you'll switch between the two. Okay, bag scanner. Let's see. Um, How many do we want? Let's do one, two, three three for now and ID check let's turn them around like so oh, hold on we can leave this one cancel uh, objects operations ID check let's do a couple more All right, security is operation now. I do need two, at least two new security guards. I think I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight extra. Let's see. Eight more, yes. Let's do eight more. Uh, we had three, so that's 11. Oh, it says there, plus eight. <laughs> Duh. That was done. So basically, that should be it for a basic, decent airport. Let's uh, see what we can do by scheduling some flights. We only have one gate, so we have to be careful. Um, let's see, do we have some decent early flights? Uh, Boeing 737, can we get that? 
Yes, we can. Nice. Let's get two Boeing 737s. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, oh, hold on. I can put you there, and I can put you there. I could even fit one more. Uh, what's the E195? I'm bringing 90 passengers. Uh, nah, let's uh, hold off on you. Uh, you have three morning flights. The Airbus 150? Yeah, let's do you. Let's do the Airbus. Okay, I want some afternoon flights. Union, what do you have for us? Beechcraft? No, thank you. You have a 737 for us. Let's grab that. And put that there. Aerostar, what do you have for us? A 737. We'll take that. And I can do one more flight. Ah, oh, crap. You don't have anything decent, do you? Nope. Hmm. You only have Beechcrafts. 19 passengers. No way. I won't do 19 passengers. Come on. Uh, 400. Bumper J has 50 passengers. Let's accept one of you. Only has 50. Oh, crap. That was a morning flight. Ah, cancel. Yes, that's going to cost me money. Bomber J dash. I'll put you over here. And since this is a small flight, I'm gonna I'm going to make this as small as possible. As you can see, this is now way smaller than that one. It's about an hour, three quarters, half an hour to three quarters uh, less time it takes. So I'm going to put that there. And that's my schedule all filled up. Look at that. That is looking good. Uh, we cannot do uh, night flights yet because our landing strip is not lit up. Uh, I suggest you do that once you have enough money to do so. But until then, I wouldn't do that. Anyways, that is going to be it for the basics I have shown you how to um, get your security up and running how to make a path for people to come off your flight to make it a lot more streamlined I do suggest you put some uh, queuing in line you just build the queues by going here queues and expand the queue and then you can just drag it all along and same here with security put some queues in there and with the gates as well Another quick tip, if you want some extra cash, then I suggest putting some retail in your gate. Uh, start off with a coffee kiosk and some vending machines, and uh, people will shove their money your way. Anyways, I hope this will help. Let me know in the comments down below what you want to do or want to know next, and uh, I'll make a video about it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped. If it did, please leave a like. Leave any comments if you have any questions. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel for more. Same airport. Um, I have a link to my Discord channel in the description as well. Make sure to click that to ask questions directly. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.